Well, good morning. This is Crazy Frank with Halfcock Gunsmithing, Fresno, California. Today, I want to talk about the Ithaca Model 51. Um, a gentleman brought me, two, well, he brought me three guns, but two of them were the same Ithaca Model 51. And from the two, I was able to build them one serviceable gun. I want to show you how to strip them down. There's nothing on YouTube about these guns, so I'd like to show you how to field strip them to uh, clean them and show you the weak link in this gun. It can be repaired, but um, let's just start with one thing and then move on. <clears throat> it's, if the gun is not cocked, what happens is, this is the hammer, if it's not cocked, it is actually up in this part of the, of the gun and you can't get this out. So you could either cock the gun or pull out the trigger group to start with. And I'd probably recommend going ahead and pulling out the trigger group. <clears throat> Just a matter of removing two pins. They come out very easily. And the trigger group pulls right out. That's the same trigger group that we have right here. This, all these guns have been abused. After you do that, you can then remove the nut that holds on the forearm. It pulls right off. And then the barrel pulls right out. Um, this portion <clears throat> can't come out unless you pull the charging handle out. And it just pulls right out. Very simple. And this will come right out. Basically now the gun is field stripped. Um, you can clean it. This one was filthy. And then reassemble. Um, but let me show you on these, the weak link is right here. This is actually missing a piece and that's what will happen if you don't fix it right away. This one I repaired. It was also broken in the same area. You can see here, I hope. Well, I hope you can see. Let me turn on the light. This this section right here, it breaks right here. It gets smaller and it breaks off. I TIG welded it back together, filed it to fit, and now the gun should be serviceable. Again, the slot here is where the hammer rides. So it's you can't get this in if the trigger group is in and the hammer is not cocked. This is very simple. It just, I'm sorry, it goes this way. It goes right in here, locks. You then put this in. This slides over. Uh, come on. And then this all goes into the gun. Once you have this in, one thing you can do to help hold everything is go ahead and put in the charging handle. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go ahead and put in the charging handle and that will help to hold everything so it can't come out the front. The barrel now, and you have to fight with them a little bit. They don't just fall in. be nice if they did. Okay, it, it's in now. It went right in this time. You can then take the forearm and put the forearm on and put your nut on. I'm probably out of, out of view. Put the foot nut on. Then the trigger group can either cocked or uncocked will just fall right in. The hammer going in between that slot. You have your two pins. And the gun is reassembled. Pocket. Gun is back together. They're nice guns. They shoot great. Ithaca makes some, some fine weapons. But as in everything, there are some weak links. In this case, it is in this area here where they break. And, but it can be fixed, but if you let it go too long, pieces are going to fall completely out, and you're going to lose those pieces, and 
things like the charging handle and stuff are available. These are not. Um, I haven't called Jack first, but numerous does not have them in stock. So you could have an issue there. If you break this piece and lose pieces of it, your, your gun may then be totally worthless. So it was really simple. It was a quick one. But there's nothing on YouTube about this gun. And, and even though people are critical that I, my grandson's watching TV in the background and stuff, I do this for you guys. So you can learn how to work on your own guns and save you money. And, and if you work on your gun, you're closer to it. You understand it. And I think everybody's better off. So that's it. Crazy Frank signing out.